What's up, y'all? It's Crispy here, and here we are with a global visual forecast. Shouts out to the Wear Otter for making this. I will link everything in the description box below. And I will also put Dissidia Compendium's website in the description box below because I'll be using that to show you the actual characters, FRs, and BTs. Now, for this video, I'm going to go into my January picks for FRs and BTs. I, uh, I miss out on... December. I will start with Maria though, since she is the next one who is actually tonight. So uh, Maria, I'll and, and I want to preface this with something, just so everyone knows. I usually pull on every single character that's released for collection purposes, which is by no means optimal. But I usually have an overflowing abundance of tickets. So that's why I always throw like 100 or 150 on a banner. And if I get it, that's cool. And if I wasn't planning on getting it, I won't build it. I'll just have it just in case. So I just want to make sure that that is very, very, very clear. All right, here we are in December with Maria. Um, little, little dude gets a little rework. I forgot his name right now. Theodore, there you go. Theodore gets a rework. I actually don't have his BT and I really wanted it back then, but uh, I never ended up getting it and I don't have enough to even max it. I'm saving for someone in January who I will go over. Now, Maria, let's see her FR. Let's exit out of this really quick. Go to the browser. Boom, Maria. She also gets a costume. Cool. Cool. Let's go to her gear. This is the FR right here. Cool little bow. Not even going to attempt to say it. All right, let's see. 10% bonus at the start of force time. Let's go all the way down here because this is where it's like built up. All right. 1% after a party member's HP is restored. So her follow up attack, you know, with her LD, the debuff, she gets an attack, which is plus 5%. It'll be plus 5% because it's off turn. And then you'll get plus 1% because she does heal. So Minwoo is uh insane with this fr mixed with it he can definitely um get a bunch of of uh build fr like gauge building percentage with that because his his skill one and then his uh traps heal as well as cause like three plus trap detonations so that's like 15 20 like 25 like something percent 26 i don't know i didn't really do the the uh math in my head all right, HP damage plus 10% when enemy takes turn. Yeah, so they stay at zero or they're afflicted with break. Boom. So in my opinion, out of all the other FRs that we've gotten, hers kind of does a little bit of the same. Like I could use core. I could use uh, Minwoo. I could use, I mean, I have hopes. I could just use hopes in, in like super, super charge with when you, what you can't do with her. But I mean, hers could be good with, with uh, fights that, delay you and the enemy needs to get off turn or needs to get turns so off turn damage would thrive but in my opinion i wouldn't since i already have cores i would just use cores but that's just my personal opinion also i'm not too partial on her as a as a character for using she is is good she does have her niche but um i haven't i haven't really used her much so i, I usually go for favorites all right let's go back to the forecast Let's go down here. Uni is the last unit of December. Hopefully. Hopefully. This was updated the 29th. So, um, hopefully she's still on track. Now, Yuna. Um, Final Fantasy X, one of my faves. So, I'm going to... I already have her greened. I have her blued. Her BT's maxed. Her high armor's maxed. So, I'm going to 100% be pulling for Yuna. And I have her... Both of her costumes, actually. Let's see what her FR does. Also, I love her FR animation. It has uh, Yojimbo in there. Well, not actually Yojimbo, but it has his katana come down because you throw a bunch of gill and his katana comes down and Bart's uses it. So I think that's pretty freaking dope. And I don't really see many people using it, but I also don't know what the actual qualifications are. All right, let's see it. Plus 10% when party action... Their after party action when party except triggered launching turn passes with zero debuffs active. Okay, so basically you always get 10% if you have no debuffs on the party. Plus 10% after own action. So I think the own action is with uh Yuna. So that's plus 20% on Yuna's turn, 
plus a base 10% on a regular party member's turn. After party action, when party, except triggered or launching, uses an ability change or upgraded from brave attack, HP attack. So that would be an HP plus plus, an HP plus, a brave plus, a brave plus plus. Like, lock, he has a bunch of changed. Um, core, if you used his, uh, his changed HP plus. Yuna, of course, because she has two different HP and brave attacks with Veil 4 active. So she benefits highly from hers. I would have to do a little bit, of, a little bit more uh, digging to see who I could pair her with effectively. I would say probably her. Um, I don't know, maybe Core. I don't know. Um, I would definitely have to think about that one. Uh, I haven't thought about it. I just know it's Yuna, so I'm automatically pulling because I always pull for favorites. I um I don't really care if they're usable or not. That's how I have fun. But of course you do want meta units, and the meta unit that I will be pulling for is coming up immediately after this. Alright, now I want to go ahead and say something right now. Everyone, the unit that I will be scrolling up to in January is absolutely insane when this character is released and is still insane to this day in JP. Keep that in mind. I said the same thing with Kane. You can still use Kane. I've used Kane almost every single event since his release. Not his force weapon. His force weapon is some ass, but his actual kit in general is pure destruction. And that's exactly what this character brings to the table. Jack motherfucking Garland from Strangers of Paradise comes with a BT and an FR. Now look. Whew, I don't want to say pull for him <laughs> i know a lot of people are waiting i know a lot of people have been holding off on pulling for a lot of other characters like sid reigns others because they know jack is coming i completely understand that and look at him he looks beautiful and look at this look at the second costume hard hard it doesn't come with the throne i think it would be cool if the throne was in there but he looks insane like his his whole kit looks so good now, all right, let me go into his gear. Um, I don't, I think I have to switch. Okay, so Compendium actually did a cool update where they have spoilers on here. So they don't show you a bunch of new characters and stuff unless you click to the JP version, which I sincerely appreciate. But for others, in me, I, I, I don't know. Um, I like to see the forecast. <laughs> and I like to look at characters and get a little insight to them. But basically his BT effect, um, he gets a free skill use while well, every single turn his BT effect is up. I think it's six turns he has of his BT effect. And um, yeah, you literally get a free skill use every single turn. You, you It doesn't matter. Except LD, I think. LD doesn't count, but skill one, skill two does. Um, I love his weapons too. They look so cool. That's the Jack Garland, like the actual Garland sword. The new one from Strangers of Paradise. This one looks dope as hell. This one's cool. Let's see his E. His, this one is his OG that you get. It's his 15 CP. The very first sword you get in the game. Look, he has his garland armor. That's awesome. But let me go back up here. And, and uh, I don't know if I'll be able to translate his FR. Oh, no, I do. Okay. Okay. 10% after party action selects a melee ability. So his... Um, FR is based off of melee attacks. As a heads up, he's all melee. Plus 10% when an enemy is afflicted with break. Usually they will be. Excuse me, when you have him at the party. So, I mean, imagine pairing him with someone who can... Yeah, I mean, he gives them negative brave. So that, that's basically his whole spiel. He's like the only one in the game that does that, to my knowledge, at this point in time. Plus 15% when an enemy has a minus brave value. They'll usually always have a minus brave value because of his special effects. Now, unless they're not broken, then you won't get that extra 15%. But what can you do about that, right? Now, his just actual attacks are pure insanity DPS wise. He has a follow up after every single attack where he's like doing that crystal crush thing. Like it's insane. He starts punching, beating the absolute piss out of the enemy. Like, Brazy, absolutely brazy. Let me exit out of some of these tabs. All right, now let's go back in here. So 
He is a day one gem for me. I am day one gemming Jack Garland. He will be through this entire uh, cycle. So he'll go through here. This is Act 3, Chapter 11.1. He will also be available on Beatrix's FR banner, who I will be pulling for because Beatrix, like what? And then ah, I want to say he will also be on the Maria FR banner. Okay. Beatrix, 100% pulling for Beatrix FR. It's Beatrix. Um, Final Fantasy IX, not much needs, more needs to be said right there. Uh, I will go into her FR though. Let's see. I think I might need to switch to the JP version on her unless they don't have it up. They might not have updated hers yet. LD. Maybe I have to. Someone told me I have to click something else to show the FR. Should have done this before, but it's fine. Let me do this. Switch to JP. Characters. Beatrix. Gear. There you go. Okay. I gotta do that for all of them now. I did it on the global version. First off, Ragnarok. Sword looks sick as hell. Now let's go down to the bottom. Alright, plus 3% when a party uses a lightning ability. Including off turn triggers. So basically use um a Garnet friggin LD call or Reno someone enchant like boom automatic three percent plus five percent self when using a lightning ability. So that's her. She'll get eight percent automatically. And plus fifteen percent after party action with party has between twelve and fifty buffs. Holy shit. So uh you want to load your party up with buffs. And I think you can have six or seven max on each character. So um uh, boom make sure you have it maxed out or just have like five on each character and it'll still have four on each character and it'll still like trigger the 15 percent i want to say does, does her off turn rose petal follow-up count maybe if you're in, in par or not, not in peril but if you're enchanted it would it would count sorry if i'm mumbling in this i just i just realized i probably wasn't speaking um okay now beatrix is just because it's beatrix in my opinion it's one of my favorite characters by no means essential, especially if you get Jack Garland. You can totally skip her, or you can just wait to pull for Jack Garland's BT on her banner. Maria, I'm gonna skip. Um, I don't care about Maria. Nothing bad against her. I don't even know what her qualifications are for her FR percentage. Don't really care, because I already have a bunch of these that I'm pulling for, and I don't have the resources to actually keep building all of them. Alright, now here we are. Act 3, Chapter 11, Part 2. This is where a little, uh, a little, a little crazy six man comes in. I won't spoil anything in case you don't know. Aroha will be good for the six man. Also, Onion Knight's FR will be good for the six man. All right, let's go over here to Aroha. Let's go back here. Oh, I could have just clicked that up at the top. Did not notice that. Aroha. I wish she got a costume, but I love her original, like just a samurai garb or whatever. Fire. She gets a BT. All right, what does it even do? Rhapsody echoing to eternity. Okay. Let's go down here to the maxed version. I don't think you can. There's no translation for it yet. There probably is in someone's server, but I'm not going to go over it. I'll be pulling because I enjoy her character and her animation is dope as hell. All right, now let's translate her FR. I think the only thing so far for her FR is because I, I don't I, I do have it already, so I might max it when party brave is above 20 percent after turn. So that's brave refund, all that stuff. Um, I don't actually know what else it does because I never did any digging on hers because I was going to wait before uh, for her BT because I already knew it was coming out. So she is also by no means essential, but she is a good quality of life improvement for your, your squad. Now let's go to Onion Knight. All right. There you go. He gets... I don't know if he already has this or this is just in JP, but this costume is fire. The ninja costume. Let's go to his gear. He already has a BT. I think I have it, but I don't have it maxed out. I honestly might have sold it. His FR. Let's see what it does. 20%, 10%. Okay. Previous turn was an ally's turn, so that's plus 20%. So any turn that your teammates get, plus 20% automatically. Plus 10% after any party action. So that's basically plus 30% anytime your teammates act. 
and they select an ice ability. You want ice enchant, basically use the C65 that enchants the entire party. After own action, when self selects, so any of his skills, if you have ice enchant, Kurosame, uh, his C65, something like that. All right. Now, Fusoya is the final of January as of right now. Oh no, Makino. Sorry, Makino. Um, here's his costume. I already have everything for Makino, so I will be going for his FR because I do enjoy playing him. Let me go up here. Sorry. He's a cool character. He's a cool cat and kitten, you know what I mean? Melee ability, 2%, including off turn. So, Orin, that would be good. He'd, uh, he'd be good, obviously. Uh, Core would be good. Plus 20% after party action. Uses an ability, change your upgraded. So, once again, him, his HP++, plus plus, or his actual HP from his BT effect. Insane. Plus 10% when party uses a greater than 30, less than 30 turn rate ability. I don't know what this means. Uses a greater than 30, less than 30 turn. I don't know what that means. So, probably something that like slows you down in the turn rate. Because his actual HP plus from his BT effect like gives him less turns. So I think this is for himself. And then when uh, he uses a melee ability, that's for himself. 10% for himself, 2% for party. All right, Fasoya. I definitely do not know much about Fasoya. I've seen a couple people use him. He has like a lot of uh, debuffs, some uh, some paralysis. Uh, plus 15% when party receives Brave Regen before a turn. So put on a Kate Sith call. That would be cool. Um, Aroha LD call. Boom. Plus 15% after party action when party attacks a debuffed enemy. He'll debuff them. So that's basically plus 30%. And then you can get like a 40 after his own action when he attacks a debuffed enemy. I don't know. He will be a new character when he comes out, so I might build him just for the, the fact of having a brand new spanking character. But other than that, that's my forecast, y'all. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this gives a little bit of insight. I tried to go a little more in-depth with the kits and do BTs as well. I think. I think I forgot to do BTs, but uh, I'll definitely be pulling for Rojas and Jax. Everyone else on there, I already have. So, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Please get this video to 50 likes if you enjoy these. I know I forgot to do a December one. I was busy with all the other games I was playing and life. So uh, I apologize for that. But I'll catch y'all in the next video tonight. Peace.